What's up guys, Mr. Tech Gamer. welcome back to another tutorial. This is a follow-up tutorial for my How to Make a Gears Mod server. So, a lot of you guys have been requesting me to make a tutorial on how to add add-ons to your Gears Mod server so people can, can use them, play with them, whatever. And this process is actually pretty simple, but if you guys do run into issues or problems, be sure to leave a comment below, PM me, whatever, and I will try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. So without any further ado guys, let's jump straight into this tutorial. So the first thing what you guys are going to want to do is make sure they have WinRAR or 7-Zip installed. If you do not, I will leave a, a download link for either program down below. It just makes it just makes this tutor tutorial that much easier if you guys have 7-Zip or WinRAR installed. So now, once you got all that figured out, which I'm sure many of you guys do, you want to click the first link in the description, it will take you to gmad the gmad extractor at the time of this recording version 1.6.12.600 or 0.600 and so just click on the blue download button here and it'll download to your to your google chrome or to your mozilla or if you're using something different you may have to go into your downloads and find it there so just drag the zip file onto your desktop close out of that now right click on your gmad extractor and just go ahead and extract it extract that to your desktop and we are we are good we're good as new so we have, now we have our gmat extractor so we're going to pause on the gmat extractor right now and now we're going to want to find the add-on that or the add-ons that you guys want to be put onto your gears mod server so what i'm going to do is find a quick add-on that i can use for an example so um yeah, so make sure you guys are actually subscribed to your add-ons. You can't just get add-ons out of thin air with this program. You actually have to subscribe to them. So, uh, community, workshop, go on to Gar Gary's Mod. And let's find an add-on that I can use for an example. So, uh, add-ons. So, I like the skunk. So, let's say, uh, let's say I want the skunk added to my server because, you know, people like skunks. I want this on my server. So what you would do is you would go ahead and click on subscribe and what this will do is it will it will basically download. So what I'm going to do now is uh, make sure uh, you run Gary's Mod when you download your add-ons just so it initializes with the, with, the, with the game. So I'm going to go into launch Gary's Mod. I'll be right back. I'm back. So the next step what you guys have to do is actually go to your directory for your Gary's Mod. It is usually in your C drive or your D drive. Mine's on my D drive, but usually it's on your C drive. And you go to your program files x86. Go down to Steam. Uh, down to Steam Apps, Common, and then Gary's Mod, which is right here, and then Gary's Mod again, and then Add-ons. So now we have all our add-ons here. So mine is actually under the type of a GMA file, which is a different extractor tool, which I may talk about later on in a different video. But basically yours might be a notepad file or some sort of unreadable file for, by your computer. But we are just going to go ahead and search for that add-on that we are going to put on our server. So for example, again, mine was skunk. So I'm going to search for skunk, which is right here. That is my skunk. So. Uh, I'm just going to control C that and control V it on my desktop. So basically copy and paste. So now we have our f now we have our add-on. So now we are going to fire up our GMAT extractor. Open up our GMAT extractor and it looks something like this. So this is their disclaimer, you're using the site to completely at your own risk, so pretty much if you screw up or you break your server, don't blame me and also don't blame GMAT Extractor, it's probably going to be your own fault. But create a new folder on your desktop, I'm just going to call this new folder and no point renaming it, it's going to be deleted anyway. But basically you want to click on open, you want to click on browse and you want to find that add-on, so it's on my desktop right here. So it's uh, skunk.737, this is their ID which you may need to use if you're doing this on a uh, fast DL, but I will not get into that. Okay, so now once you have that all selected, you're going to want to click on select. And okay, that did not work. Okay, what's going on? Okay, sorry, I, I forgot to click on it, so do it again. Click on that and click on select. And there we go, we just extracted it onto this the program. Now we're going to extract it in bulk onto that new folder that we put on the desktop. So click on extract all and put this onto a new folder and click select folder. And then it should say success 
add on successfully or extracted successfully and click on OK. So now in our new folder, that is our add on. So, um, so what we're going to do now is, is this is our add on folder. So we're going to need to keep this for our add ons for our server. So now we're going to put it into our server files so we can now load it onto our Gearsmon server. So go ahead and I guess find your your server, which is I think mine's on my D drive. D drive on my Gmod, Gmod add-ons. And hey yeah, guys, I already have a whole bunch of add-ons on here. So <clears throat> yeah. And just drag that onto into here. So I, I guess you can rename this to to skunk or something. I didn't know how to spell skunk. <laughs> Lol. Okay, so now we have our, our add-on installed, so it should look like that. So now we're going to run it. So I'm going to boot up my, my Gary's mod. Or first we should actually boot up the server and let it initialize. So I'll quickly... What am I doing? I'll quickly boot up the server and I'll be right back. Alright guys, we are back. So for some strange reason that skunk add-on did not work. I do not know why, but I did use another add-on called the Blundergat. So once you've actually installed it onto your server with the GMAT extractor, and you're basically all good. So for example, my, like I said, mine's the Blundergat. And as you guys can see, it works very well. And I do apologize about that. This skunk, it just did not work out. I couldn't find it. I thought it was a player model. I thought it was a gun. I thought it was like an entity or an NPC. So I couldn't find it. So uh, this is the Blundergat add-on. So as you can see, it works very well. I'm not doing like a mod demonstration or anything. But, you know, it works pretty damn well, as you can see. But... Uh, yeah, but that's basically, that's how easy it is to install add-ons, and I know it's kind of a pain if you have to install like 50 add-ons, it might take a very long time, but um, I do have another way, which I may talk about in another video, it, this is using a different software, but I think it might be a little more confusing, so I kind of want to get your opinion on that, but that's basically a thing, guys, so much for watching, and again, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, whatever, leave them in the comments section below, and again, I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible, but that's basically the tutorial, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.